Well, to put it bluntly, housing sales in Metro Vancouver have gone off a cliff. New numbers out today show a dramatic decline in transactions, likely caused by the province's new tax on foreign buyers. The question now, will prices follow? Sinjin Alexander reports on a waiting game being played by home buyers and sellers. Call it the Wild West, a showdown between buyer and seller, each anxiously wondering who will strike first. It's a bit of a standoff right now. And it's all playing out in the competitive world of Metro Vancouver real estate. The buyer is clutching his money, waiting for prices to drop. The seller wants to rake in as much as he can and refuses to lower his ask. The homes that you are seeing sell right now are the ones that are the sellers that are willing to take a bit of a cut. And I think a lot of, right now, a lot of sellers are still stuck on summer prices. Sales are down almost 40%. 2,233 homes were sold in October, a huge drop from this time last year, but slightly higher than sales in 2012. Maybe just starting to see the beginnings of the impact of this foreign buyer's tax and the impact that that's having on the Vancouver housing market. Detached homes are hardest hit. Only 66 sold last month in East Vancouver, the slowest October in 10 years which included 2008, of course, when the financial crisis hit. Even this realtor admits he'd list his home in this market, but he wouldn't buy one. A price is about to plummet. I'm not optimistic for, uh, for prices to go up anytime soon. I think that we are in a downwards trend. In other words, the market once so good is showing its bad and ugly side. St. John Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.